Hello, I'm Chris Lewis and I'm an RNLI lifeguard. I've been a member of Bournemouth Lifeguards for 55 years and I've worked for the RNLI for 15 years. Upcoming season will be my 16th season. I've always been involved in lifesaving and lifeguarding um, from the age of 16. I've basically been working as a volunteer since 1965. I then went on and when I finished teaching I worked in this Bournemouth in the Pool Bay area. What I then went on to do, I got a job as a senior in the Bournemouth area and after the first two years I worked in the Bournemouth area all the time. So that usually means that I work at Bournemouth Pier for two days a week and uh, Alum and Durley Chine for the remainder of the week. Uh, as a result of that, I had to fulfil all the fitness requirements. Basically, that's kept me fit and healthy. Um, so I'm extremely grateful to the RN Life for making me having to go training to, to do the job. Our day-to-day -day rescues, as it were, are to do with giving advice and helping people so they don't have to be rescued. The most memorable one for me was um, we had a day where we had southeasterly winds, which is obviously the worst conditions in Bournemouth. I was not far from here actually, and we saw a lady, a girl, 16-year-old girl, getting washed towards the end of one of the groins, and there were a few other people in the water with her. She got picked up by a wave and slapped right into the end of the groin, and we had quite a few quite nasty cuts. Another one of the children that was her brother, I think, was hanging on to the groin and there was another person just felt he was being washed out to sea. So I had to run down the beach, jump over the groin, give them my kit, go in and fish him out. So I rescued three people at the time and um, I'll never forget it. As I came out of the water, the whole beach stood up and collapsed and applauded, which is, it doesn't happen very often that, but it was quite a nice experience. Right, what I've got to be able to do with the fitness test, I've got to swim 200 metres in three and a half minutes, keep swimming for 400 metres in under seven and a half minutes. Uh, I've then got to be able to swim a length, that's 25 metres underwater, followed by a swim back. I have to run 200 metres in under 40 seconds. It's obviously easier when the wind's behind you. Uh, but it's 200 metres in under 40 seconds. As I've got older, uh, the sprinting part has got harder. Or I've been able to do it, but it's the one thing that I have to keep really working at. Quite a lot of people come along and they take it for granted that they can do it and they don't make it. But the simple answer is if you want it, you just have to go and work on it and then it's not hard. As a job, it's, one's got to say it's the best job in the world. You get paid to come to the beach. Um, it is a job. It's not just hanging around at the beach. It's, you know, it's a serious business. But if you like being at the beach and if you're a people person, you like talking to people, giving them advice, helping them out, then that's what the job is about. I would love to go through the whole summer without having uh, to rescue anybody. I want to prevent them from getting into trouble. It's, uh, that's what the job's about. Twenty twenty, beginning of the year, I turned up, did my fitness test in the swimming pool, and by the Monday, announcements were made about <coughs> rules for people of my age, and that was it for the season, really. And I didn't work at all for the RNLI last year. If it, if I'd have worked last year, this would have been my seventeenth year consecutively. So last year was the first year that I didn't work on the beach um, in Bournemouth. It was a shame and I just made the most of coming down really early in the morning and going home early, going home by 
And so actually I had quite a good time, but I did miss the lifeguarding. The R&I said that like, you will be offered a contract as long as you can do the fitness test. I used part of that as a, a way to help me keep fit. So yeah, it was amazing when I managed to pass the fitness test. Um, we're allowed eight minutes to do the 600 meters all together and I did it uh, quite comfortably in the time, which was quite refreshing. To be perfectly selfish, I do it because I really enjoy it. It's just nice to be working with groups of young lifeguards that are keen to do the same thing as I am, which is to keep people safe and enjoy themselves outside in the open air.